Hey, so hi everyone, I'm Ashley. I'm part of the Calls to Action team. And today we'll be showcasing our latest project. We created a webpage with resources on how to write a land acknowledgement. The resources are very easy to follow. So if anyone wants to write their own land acknowledgement, this is for them. So my responsibility was to create the logo right here on the left. And I was able to put in everyone's hard work and resources onto this webpage. And if the video crew want to take it from here. Uh, hi, so we have created, just wait for it to load up. Yeah, so we have created various engaging and inform informative um, videos on how to write a land acknowledgement, videos on the histories behind um, a few indigenous communities here in Halton, and a video example on um, various youth volunteers um, from community builders that have speaking their land acknowledgement. Uh, so I think we're gonna give a little video clip examples of um, one of the Draw My Life videos. So we can do the Métis, yep. Can you guys hear the video? Oh, okay. No. Um, no, no. I think you have to mute or share share sound when you share your screen. The Métis are people of mixed European and Indigenous ancestry with both a French and English speaking heritage. The Métis people originated in the 1700s when the French and Scottish fur traders married Aboriginal women such as the Cree and Anishinaabe. Their descendants formed a distinct culture in the Northwest, their homelands within the Prairie Provinces and parts of Ontario, British Columbia, and the Northwest Territories. Here, they learned to speak the ancestral language of Michoac. In the 19th century, the Métis emerged as a political force diverging outwards from the Red River settlement. While the Canadian government marginalized the Métis after 1885, the government has since recognized the Métis as a First Nations people with rights embalmed in the Constitution of Canada. Awesome. So the how-to group. Um, I'm Caroline, and we put together this PDF on how to write an, a land acknowledgement and tips and tricks. So I can kind of skim through it and just show you. So, and this is the logo that we created for our Halton Youth Initiative um, Creative Outreach Team. Could you scroll down a bit, please? Thank you. Our calls to action team. So just the, a guide to ease our, uh, your anxiety about writing a land acknowledgement because it can be a tough task to do. So we kind of just put it all together in a document with also linking resources. So our first section was why is doing a land acknowledgement important? And how you can prepare yourself. And those are, um, the underlined ones are links to um, different websites that you can use to determine things like whose land you're on, how to pronounce certain words and stuff like that. And then, our next section was about what you should include in your land acknowledgement. So the first thing is know whose land you're on. Um, the next one is talk about what the land means to you. And then the third one is incorporate the reason you have gathered and the call to action. And then after that, we put additional tips for writing a net land acknowledgement. So things like being sincere and heartfelt, not generic, using past and present and future tense, 
using appropriate language and not making it political. And yeah, that's our PDF guide to how to properly write a land acknowledgement. Awesome. And Karen, I think. Yep. All right. So these are the resources that will help you research the information needed for writing a land acknowledgement. They're the ones that are also included in how to PDF. Mm -hmm. um, the native land is like an online map that provides information on the location of territories um, because you need to know whose land you're acknowledging. And there's also treaty maps um, if you'd like to acknowledge what treaty your land has. And the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nations website spe specifically um, provides valuable information on the history behind every treaty uh, on the Mississaugas Credit First Nations territory. And there's also um, online dictionaries to help you with pronunciation of words, or if you would like to translate an English word to say uh, in your land acknowledgement. And the last one just has more uh, pronunciation help with sounded out syllables. And that's our webpage. Wow. Yeah, that's great. I do say so myself. I'm blown away. <laughs> I, I just have to like uh, take it all in. Yeah. I was showing our communication manager at OK and yesterday the draw my life and uh, she, she was speechless and she's like, why don't we know about this? <laughs> Give us a chance. <laughs> Well, our volunteers knew about it. <laughs> you guys, uh, yeah, just speechless. Um, yeah, no words. And obviously, thank you to Angela Pat for supporting our volunteers uh, in this room to put this together to make this a component of the Halton Youth Initiative website and um, most importantly, a resource and knowledge transfer out to the community. And I really think, um, you know, there's there's a message here, but sometimes it's the messenger that carries it. And sometimes it takes youth messengers to really make that impact on some of us older folk <laughs> who, who need to learn a few things. So I'm just really so impressed with, uh, with all of your hard work. Um, I don't know anything you guys would like to, to say, to share with Angela, Pat or vice versa, I'll give you some time to speak to one another. Keith, do you have anything you want to say to Angela or Pat? Just thank you to you guys for always being so supportive. Yeah, I'd also like to thank you guys for like the opportunity and the learning that you guys helped us with and for all the resources and support that you provided us through the project. Yeah. Also, oh, I'm sorry, go ahead, Angela. It's okay. Yeah. I, I also want to add that um, you guys always had the ability to make me laugh, like even on sometimes I wasn't doing the best mentally. And I just want to let you know that you guys always made me laugh and just have a good time too. Yeah, basically what they said, I just want to say thank you for always being there and making us feel in a safe environment and just always being there for us whenever we have questions or any concerns. I'm glad you got yourself connected. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> what are you guys going to do without Angela and Pat? <laughs> uh, I, I tell you, it was very entertaining. It was, I looked forward to it for sure. But I, and I really want to say to the, to the young leaders too, that I learned as much from you as I think that you did from me. Um, just watching you really run with it. I, I, I really want to impress on people, like everyone did amazing work, but I worked most closely with Ashley and she just ran with, she programmed all those pages herself. Like she did it, man. And so I just uh, am, thoroughly impressed with, uh, you know, everyone's skills, what they brought to the table. Like Angela said, um, that draw my life approach, you know, I, I know a lot of organizations, I know a lot of corporations that would be, you know, very happy to have that kind of skill set in their in their toolbox. So um, I've really said a lot of these research skills and a lot of these communication skills that you're developing are things that are, you're going to be able to include in your portfolio and, and really, you um, highlights. So we're working at making sure that the website is chock full of all of those pieces uh, for you as you move forward in your in your career and your life path. Yeah. 